Hi there. Today I will be talking about my radio versus a digital radio. When I'm talking about radio, I'm talking about an analog FM radio. Okay, let me just on the sound. There you go. That's my trusty analog radio. So let me just off the sound. So what are the advantages of having this uh, FM radio? First of all, it's reliable. Wherever you go, you get to hear it. And you can just change any channel on the fly really quickly. Yeah, just at a tap of a button, it will change. So what is not so good about FM radio? Well, uh, it's not so clear because it depends on where you are. If you are like me, yeah, having a roof here or under a basement, you won't get a clear reception. So if you're under the sky, then you will get a very good reception. Also depending on your antenna. If your antenna is not as good, then maybe you get a very bad reception. So I think everybody knows uh, about FM radio. So let's talk about this. This is an internet radio and I'm now connected to internet. Let's click on it. I've actually preloaded it. That's why it's here. Otherwise you need to wait for it. Uh, I think that's one of the downside of an internet radio. So when I click on play, yeah, so let me just pause it. So this might not be a very good interface if, as you can see because it's not really made for uh, the car. Buttons are a little bit small because this is actually a tablet design. But nevertheless, uh, the sound is crisp. Yeah, the sound is very clear. But let's try switching the radio channels. You know, changing to different channels may take a few seconds as well, depending on where you are. Um, it takes more than a few seconds actually. On this one, yeah, you won't be able to access radio, and you cannot put it to this screen. As I have shown you earlier, um, you won't be able to have the music or the radio as a background. But if you have this digital radio, you can play it. And what you can do is, you can have this screen on top. So you can't have that if you are using a radio. Yeah, Say this, when you come back here, it's gone. Yeah, I do prefer to have digital radio. But sometimes I find it a bit uh, awkward. Uh, sometimes I find it a bit troublesome because I always need to connect to the hotspot. So I would want to, you know, put this cable, just put it to my handphone and connect to Apple CarPlay. Now I'm connected to Apple CarPlay and Apple CarPlay do have this digital radio as well, uh, which is called Shock. It's actually the same as the one I have on the Android tablet but this have a much better interface this is made for car usage yep and it's actually using my 4G on my iPhone but it still have the same problem because it really depends on your reception yeah, if you have a bad reception then it might be a bit slower so there you go it's very clear so you can have your waist here you can have your radio here and actually this is the perfect match for me having an Apple CarPlay on my Android head unit is actually the perfect solution well not everyone have this because I actually need a dongle for this you can actually look at this link how do I get this done so let's say I do not want to use Apple CarPlay I can always come back here click on this one yeah, this is my Android head unit interface and I, if I want to have a normal radio, I just click here. Yeah, this would be my normal radio. Bad reception, yeah, a bit, uh, a lot of hissing sounds. And if I want to have a digital radio, which is on my Android head unit, I click here. 
uh, it loads slower and uh, it takes some time you know for you to start the radio so just to conclude um, which is better do you like your normal analog radio or your digital radio I would prefer uh, if I'm in a rush I would want to have this yeah immediately on the fly I can get radio immediately on the fly I can actually listen to radio I can just go in and listen to what I want to you know whichever channel yeah the downside is that um, I wouldn't be able to get a very nice uh, interface because this is actually built into my Android head unit and it's it looks like this and I can't change it and I can't have the radio on and to put the interface here at the same time I can't do that um, so that's one bad advantage of having that so having an internet radio well uh, it takes a long time to load uh, and depends on your, but how good is the reception on the 3G or 4G so sometimes if you go to a blind spot then it will stop as well and I think it also depends on the app I think this app takes a bit too long to start so it's a no for me as well but if you have the time you know then maybe you should do this because what is good about this is that once it started uh, you can have this to use as a background okay once it started I, I don't think I can wait for that to happen so uh, since if this tool is still not what you want then you might want to have an Apple CarPlay which is here yeah so this is fast yeah this is fast because it's actually loaded in my handphone this app is actually loaded in my handphone and it's actually using my 4G in my handphone which doesn't use the hotspot from my phone like uh, the Android head unit so this is actually faster and more reliable as well and the good thing is that I can also look at ways at the same time so that's all that's my conclusion of uh, internet radio versus analog radio so if you like this video please you know give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet please uh, help me to do so it's free and it's cost free yeah and now it's loaded yeah after so long so once it's loaded you can have this on the front and that radio will be at the background okay thanks a lot and have a good day bye bye